Hey everyone, welcome to Wilderness Dad's Father's Day edition. Okay, so today I'm going to review some uh, gear that I think uh, are great gift ideas uh, for any dad that is aspiring to uh, hit the trail this summer. So uh, check it out. I'm going to dive right into it. Um, first thing on my list is a good shoe because I think the basis and uh, of going hiking, it doesn't matter what you bring, but if you bring a good shoe with you, uh, you're going to be happy on the trail. So. Um, what I have here in front of me is a uh, Solomon Speed Cross 4. Uh, I believe the 5 is out now, but I haven't worn out the 4 yet, so here you are, uh, me demoing this. Um, I've used uh, the 3 onto the 4. Soon I'll probably get the 5 uh, after this uh, season, or at least midway through this season. But the key features that I like about it, the aggressive tread, uh, the arch support in it, great uh, padding, and overall the uh, uh, ventilation for it keeps your feet nice and dry doesn't matter how sweaty of a foot you have uh, you've got plenty of ventilation with this and combined with a good uh, trail sock uh, you won't end up with blisters I haven't had any blister issues um, on any of the summits that I did last year I summited six summits and not a blister to be found uh, with this shoe so very pleased with it and impressed with it but uh, the right shoe for the right environment. If you don't like uh, a running shoe, I've also put in the links below all of the items I'm reviewing, plus a few extras that I think uh, uh, go great uh, in any gift bag. Um, but uh, the hiking boot I've added, as well as a water shoe, because sometimes you're going to hit, uh, you know, a trail that is uh, great for river hopping or rock hopping through the water, and you're going to want to get your feet wet. So uh, what I have here is a keen uh, sandal, and the reason I picked this one particularly is uh, the uh, strong support for closed toe. If you do any whitewater work, uh, you know, whether it be uh, kayaking, uh, rafting, or paddle boarding. Um, this is great. It's got great tra traction. The rubber uh, really is uh, great for gripping slippery rocks and the arch support into this shoe is uh, fabulous. So if you've got a good arch, um, it really takes a lot of the pressure off when you're hiking. Uh, that's why I think I, I chose this sandal, sandal is just uh, the overall feel it was uh, pretty outstanding. So. Um, next thing on my list of, of, of things to check out is uh, trekking poles. Uh, you know, you may not be a fan, but if you've done any long distance hiking and you go up a summit and you come back down, uh, these are a lifesaver coming down the mountain because it really helps out to take the strain off of uh, your legs on a long trek. Uh, lightweight, what I have here is uh, REI's uh, Flash Carbon Series, and what I like about it is the lightweight and the ease of assembly and storage. Simply pull it, and there you are. And the sturdiness of this, uh, you could uh, fend off a, uh, a wild dog, you may not think about it, but uh, you know, dogs and people are the number one thing on the trail that you really have to watch out for. Uh, I've experienced that firsthand just uh, last summer on Mount Rose, where passed uh, a couple with their dog, uh, went down the trail a little bit further, and uh, ran right into another couple with a dog with uh, the dog off the leash. Got a little bit further down the trail, and I heard a lady scream, came back uh, to see her holding her behind uh, with some nice puncture wounds in her uh, running pants. So you never know what's going to happen, but a good trekking pole could uh, prevent maybe that situation uh, from uh, getting to you. So. It's a, a great item to have on the trail and uh, good uh, for support. All right, next thing uh, on my list, uh, a good hat. Uh, you can pick this up anywhere. I think uh, you know every store has a good hat. Uh, particularly, this is an Ascend hat. I picked it up at Bass Pro. It's probably meant for uh, hiking and fishing, but uh, it wicks well and keeps the sun off of you. One cool feature about this hat Put it on and if you pair it with a good bug screen now i know you're thinking bugs what do i need to worry about bugs i've got bug spray but you'd be surprised that you get into some dense wooded areas where gnats and mosquitoes will chase you literally down the trail and harass you for many many miles so paired with this got a nice uh, little hat here maybe two ounces in weight so can stay in a pack all year round and be pulled out if you need it. Um, you know, could uh, really save your day if you're being hounded by mosquitoes or gnats. I've had that happen from time to time on the trail and it wasn't pleasant. Pair that up uh, if you didn't have uh, 
the bug net in mind, a net gator, uh, same kind of principle. If you've got a pair of sunglasses and you've got this, uh, you pretty much uh, get the same effect. But uh, something to think about uh, for any dad, the mask I have here, uh, Carbon Series uh, from REI. It's got a cool little mountain print on it I thought was neat. So there you have it. All right, uh, diving in the next piece of equipment. Uh, this was an awesome gift uh, idea for me as uh, an inspiring uh, you know, vlogger, the uh, Hero 9 has some really cool features. And why I picked this over the 7 or the 8 was this feature where it adds a camera in the screen in the front as well as the back. So whether you're talking, vlogging, holding it up and uh, you know doing selfies with it or out on the trail, it's uh, a great camera. Uh, it's also got voice control, so if you've got it mounted you know, whether it be your paddleboard, your hat, your chest, uh, it's voice activated. Awesome feature, awesome gift. So keep it in mind. Um, I think I got this at Best Buy and the reason I did is just they haven't have it on sale. Uh, I like to shop pretty much uh, online, but I will go into the store for, for some items, but I look at places that primarily offer me rewards. So like when I buy REI stuff, uh, they offer me a dividend, or if I buy stuff on Amazon, I have an Amazon card and they give me money back. But I also use uh, retail partners uh, through uh, my Metal Luca store, and to me, that's a huge thing because they offer me uh, loyalty points back as well. Just something to think on. Um, the next item on my list, a watch. And you may think, why do I need a watch? But, you know, for accuracy on the trail, for GPS, and also for the length of... Uh, the uh, battery life, you know, a Apple Watch has about an 18 hour life span depending on how you're using it. It's just another item to charge, whereas this watch here is a Garmin Fenix 5 and it has a nine day battery life. So the difference between being out on an extended hike and having to worry about the battery life of uh, your watch and where you're going in GPS and tracking your stats. If you're tracking your stats and you feel like it's important for you to know where you are, both uh, you know, in uh, your miles that you're, you're, you're taking uh, on your hike, plus also the location, and uh, offers a, a lot of other health stats. You know, much like the Apple Watch, tracks your heart rate, tracks your sleep patterns, does uh, all kinds of fun features. Uh, so. Just something to think about uh, as far as gift items go. Um, where I think uh, probably the easiest place to find, you know, you can do a search for it, but uh, the five, I think the six is out now, uh, but the five has still got a low price point. Uh, I think the cheapest place you can find it is Walmart or Sam's right now for around uh, $200 to $300. So not too expensive, great gift idea, something to think on for enthusiasts. All right, on to my next thing, water. Um, you know, probably the next uh, most important thing to bring with you besides a good shoe is uh, the availability of water. I like this water bottle. It's Life Straw's um, water bottle. It offers a filter in uh, closed with it, so you can fill it up, bring it with you, and if you need to refill on the trail and you, you're questioning the water source, uh, this has got you covered. Just scoop up the water, put the lid on, and you're ready to drink. Uh, so it cuts down on the time of having to filter water through a traditional filter. You know, obviously, you know there are there are many levels of filters out there depending on your experience. Uh, obviously, if you really, really, you know, were going someplace into desolation and you thought, "Well, I'm going to have to drink out of a, you know, a hole that you know while that life has been drinking out of," you may consider a really uh, costly water filter, but. For the average trail use, uh, this works perfectly well. Um, pair it with, or you know, have along with you. This is a, a Sawyer uh, Mini series. I really didn't use the accessories that come with it. It's a three-in-one option. Um, you can add it uh, to filtration on a water bottle by basically just screwing it on, taking your water bottle, uh, whether it be uh, a plastic one, um, and uh, sipping out of it. But why I bought this is as, as and use it as an inline filter in my hydration pack. So basically, I just plug it in, and again, same principle as this, just scooping water into it, but uh, getting refilling uh, with rapid ease. And you know that's important on the trail right now, especially with we're coming out of COVID. 
a lot of places are opening up, but the water fountains are still closed in a lot of places. So places that would be marked on the map and you think, hey, I'm going to get this as a water source and you go there and it's dry as a bone. Um, you know, <laughs> this just opens up many more options for you as far as having water on the trail because, you know, when you're faced with the option of either borrowing water from somebody or having to turn around on a hike, uh, you know, having this little item with you can uh, really make or break your uh, hike and adventure. So just something to think about. Um, another item, a tool really that I like to bring with me on any hike, uh, depending on where I'm going, is a, a knife. Um, to me, it's no different than, you know, a saw, a hammer, or a shovel, just, uh, you know, something along the lines. This little guy is great. It's a Gerber, uh, priced under, you know, I think it's like around $15 for this. But, you know, any knife will do, uh, you know, depending on your, your preference. For me, it's just utility, you know, digging out a, a splinter, uh, having to cut some cordage, uh, some paracord, whatever it may be. Knives come in many different sizes. If you're going to go for extended hikes, I recommend bringing a full tang knife with you. Um, you know, so depending on the size and, and the uh, design, really it's up to you. Um, you know, you can get custom knives. This is just a, a small custom made knife, but it's uh, full tang, durable enough to chop wood, um, strike a, a fire striker, uh, and do a bunch of different uh, bushcraft items to, you know, keep uh, your survival going if you were in need, because nobody really plans for disaster, but, you know, disaster can strike at any time on the trail and having these extra items with you can prevent uh, you know you from being a statistic on the trail not to be grim but uh, it does happen I mean there's been uh, incidents where hikers have hiked and they've gone out uh, you know and been stuck for several days out there so having a good knife with you uh, ensures your safety but it also can gives you functionality uh, this knife in particular uh, I really like, uh, a friend recommended it to me, uh, my friend Ron, it's a uh, bushcraft uh, bob and it has features that uh, make it, you know, unique as far as uh, the accessibility for it. Uh, I bought it on Amazon, um, but uh, there's other retailers for it. Um, but the features for it, fire striker that comes with it, uh, the ability to uh, chop wood with it. Uh, it's so durable, you could stand on it if you drove it into uh, a tree and needed to uh, you know, climb a tree with it, you could. So just something to think on, great gift idea. Uh, a knife, uh, I don't think any dad would ever go, ah, you got me a knife, oh no. <laughs> so just something to think on. A headlamp, you know, great to bring with you. Uh, any any uh, time on the trail. Uh, this is a black diamond. I like it mainly because it has three different lighting options and it's lightweight and headband use. Um, but, you know, depending on the situation, how many days you're going, um, you know, you may need one that has more looms. This uh, particular one is an overhead one. Uh, you know, stays on your head a little bit uh, easier because it won't slide down when you're perspiring. So uh, great for, you know, riding a bike or if you're doing some climbing, um, you know, that's something to think about. The headband ones can't slide, whereas having that extra strap keeps it uh, on your head. Uh, one thing I forgot to go over was a hydration pack. So this is a Camelback Rogue, uh, lightweight, great for uh, just a, a simple hike. You know, can store your keys in it, uh, put your smartphone in the pouch here, away you go. Holds two and a half liters of water, plenty of water for pretty much any day hike. Um, lightweight and easy. Camelback really, you know, does a great job of uh, making it easy to add water to it. Just turn it on its side, give it a twist, and away you go. But uh, just something to think on. Uh, for anybody, I think anybody could use this, whether you're biking, hiking, running, um, you know, it's a great uh, low-priced uh, pack and uh, much versatility for it. Uh, you can also pair it, like I said, with uh, the Sawyer Mini and give it that more uh, feature. I don't have it on this. I have a three-liter bladder that I put into this uh, particular pack. And probably the, the next thing I would tell you is a pack like this, um, you know, the reason I picked this, a day pack like this, it's an REI Trail 25. For the uh, 
trekking pole feature that it has on it. Many uh, day packs like this just have a simple loop on the side to store the, the, the trekking pole and you're at the mercy pretty much of the Velcro or a rubber band to keep it there in place. Whereas this has a locking system where you're just slipping it through the eyelet and clipping it here, but it really holds on to the pack and stays there. So I'll just give you a quick demo of it. Um, of course, my Velcro slipped, but you get the idea. And clipping it through, and sliding it through the eyelet. Well, all right. It's going to make me uh, look silly, so I'm just going to set it down now and uh, move along. But you get the idea. Um, you know, normally this is really a durable, easy pack to use, but any day pack will do. I've linked uh, it below why I chose it. Uh, you know, just for the features uh, I've explained. I think it's pretty great. Um, another item that uh, I wanted to talk about lastly was. My favorite uh, camping stove, a jet boil, really lightweight, uh, easy to use and assemble. All the all the uh, the fuel and the the stand and the the flame fit inside of it. Uh, again, it kind of goes with the with the water purification part of it. If you had to, um, you know, if you're in the snow and you need to melt snow and the snow is the only option to drink, jet boil is your answer for that. Uh, you can be drinking water in you know less than an hour. Um, so just an option to think on. It's a cool gift. Uh, pair it with uh, some, you know, packing food and uh, you've got uh, lunch <laughs> all contained and, and uh, lightweight. So anyways, I hope I've given you a few suggestions. Again, like I said, I've linked to all of these uh, below in the comments uh, in the description. So uh, I hope you have some ideas from this segment and I will see you next time on the trail.